Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm like, I'm welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down and nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, 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 very important. Not important to liberals, libertarians, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT. Listeners' discretion is advised. Listeners' discretion is advised. Listeners' discretion is advised. As cringy as I am, incoherent motherfucking ass I am. I am the fool and the crazy man. Wise, indeed. But I'm no coward. But I don't have a lot of pride. I know when to back down, okay? But of course, I don't think I have to back down because the Holy Spirit has on my, I'm, the Holy Spirit is on my back, okay? Or the devils or the angels, you may call them. Um, if you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. If you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. If you want to see who I am, check out my credentials down below. Now, this video is about critical race theory. My opinion about critical race theory. In America. Do you think they should teach it? Okay. I believe they should teach everything and anything in school. So people can understand and have an idea of it. It's called freedom of choice, freedom of speech. That's why I say it's good to homeschool. Duh. Okay. You know what they don't teach in school? It's business and how to survive in the woods. That's fucked up, right? They don't teach you how to survive in the woods, how to make tents and how to build things from the wood if you lose everything. They don't teach you none of that natural basic survival instinct stuff. They don't teach you no business. They don't teach you none of that shit. Now, maybe some places do teach some of that stuff. But common sense would say if you need to survive and you have nothing else to survive on, you need to focus on that shit. But now, but this, this video is about critical race theory here. I believe it's good to teach the history of things so it won't get out of hand again history repeats itself if it's not repeat if it's not taught the only negative thing i see with critical race theory is that uh it may make feel some whites feel guilty about their own lineage you know what i'm saying and you have to tell the children it's not your fault but we're just making sure it doesn't happen again we already know that blacks are worth the two trillion dollars, so we still have to do some things to make up for what we have. You, your people has has done, okay? That's a good thing. You know, we have to make sure that you already know it's only thirteen percent of the population, so they should all be wealthy, right? If they're black, or if they got black in them. But of course, um, that's a good thing white people can do, because a lot of them, more than half of them, probably have ancestors who had slaves. And they're supposed to give some rep reparations, but they won't. They don't care about that shit. That's not going to happen. But they'll give it to Jewish people and Chinese people and shit. The reason why they won't do that because of jealousy. Black people are very beautiful. And we're already in the NBA and NFL and a lot of other places too. Black people can actually help one another, right? So, it's kind of like a double-edged sword in a way. Blacks can, can help each other, but they don't have to. But you can see how selfish everybody is in the first place. You know? But other than that, I have never been a slave. But it's good to teach everything and anything, even sex. Sexual education in school, it should teach that shit. They should teach every little thing in school. I think that this is why I tell people to homeschool because they don't teach the, the most important things in school. They don't teach it. They don't. And when you go to school, the problem with public schooling is that they're not being monitored everywhere. Everywhere you go. Oh my goodness. Why is he calling now? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Listen carefully again. Um, you need to teach everything in school. Race from racism to hate crimes to how this country was conquered by uh, peoples before Christopher Columbus. So we got to talk about how... The Indian people slaughtered their own people at times. We got to talk about how Africans. We could talk about all those things. We could talk about all those things. Africans killed one another for territory. Native Americans killed one another for territory. But who gives a fuck? It's not that important. It's you as the parent to put them in the public school in the first place. Are you a fucking dimwit? To put them in school with strangers you don't even know. I'm talking to you white folks. Yeah, I'm talking to you white folks. You know better. You put them in school and they become liberal as fuck. Okay? And you probably had a you had probably had a racist generation 
who did have slaves, but you ain't doing shit about it. That's called karma. I'm not, I'm just telling you like it is. You well off because of your ancestors. But then you got to understand something. Blacks can help one another. They can't help one another easily. They're worth $2 trillion. I did the research, yeah. But you got to teach the race critical race. So it won't happen again. It won't happen. You don't want to have uh, a, people, a race of people who's already emotional enough and kinder okay, and very considerate with bigger, longer penises getting mad at you white folks because they're not going to do that. Black folks are not going to kill you and exterminate you like you do that you like you did to their people in the past. I don't consider myself black. I got a little bit of black in me. I got German in me too. I got Italian. Okay, so I don't consider myself one hundred percent black, but that's different because white folks has already thought about them a systematic uh, a system the way they can merge each other. It's called merging of the bloods, merging of the bloods, merging of the bloods. That's their plan. White folks intermingling with black folks, and we get crossbreeds, just like in Ethiopia. Okay, everywhere we go, we merge, we mix the bloods. But to each his own. It can be a positive thing, it can be a negative thing. But I try to keep it simple, down under 10 minutes. But should we teach CRT in schools? Yes, it shouldn't. Why? It's called freedom of speech, freedom of choice. It's the parents' responsibility to get the motherfuckers out of there. Get your little bastard kids out of there. When I say bastard kids, I'm talking about most of you mothers singles, are single mothers. You don't know the father of your child. You just don't. They're bastard kids. <laughs> Did I just say that? Well, anyway, at least I didn't say the word cunts. Okay. <laughs> Do you think I care if my video, my video get put down? <laughs> I'm on Rumble and everywhere else. I'm not even worried about this shit, though. <laughs> People love my videos. They'll be like, oh, what happened? I said, I lost uh, a month of knowledge, three and five. Because I said the word cunts. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm a comedian. I'm not supposed to be pulled down. Everything is opinionated. I'm not talking down on all races and shit. I'm just being funny. But to each his own anyway. Um, CRT should be taught in school. It's called freedom of speech. You can't do that. You could teach about the KKK. They want to know. I know why the KKK exists. But do the, do the kids know? Teach them that shit. Them kids ain't really interested in that shit anyway. Okay? They're not really, they're not paying attention. As I said before, I gotta make another video on this. But everybody, every child should be taught individually. You can't teach them as a child. But I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. You know where I'm going with this, right? You cannot sit there and be a teacher to an audience of people. Most of the people will not understand you. They're not. It's, 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 it's a fact that everybody who's being talked to by a teacher or some sort of um, counselor or whatever, and you're teaching to the they're not learning that. They're not getting it. Everybody's different. White folks know about this shit. I don't know. I forgot what the term is. What is the chances of, out of the whole 100% of audience, and a teacher teach, how much will the audience, how much will you think, what percentage of the audience will retain that information? Probably only 20%. The rest will not get it. If they study a little bit, it still will not go over 30%. I did, this re I did study, on, study on this shit. I did a study and research on this. It's how much can the audience retain if a teacher's teaching? And then it's certain um, attributes that must come into play. Like how is the teacher teaching? How is his voice? Is, is his voice monotone? Is his voice high pitch? It's a whole list of things. Most of the time, most of the children or adults, even adults, would not understand what the teacher is. They won't be able to comprehend it. So everybody has to be taught individually. This is why it's important to homeschool. You don't get it? Come to me if you want some more details. Other than that, I'm out here, guys. Um, it, uh, does uh, CRT needs to be taught? Sure, it should be. It should be easy. If you got a teacher that's very uh, 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 articulate and fluent, and expressive and empathetic, then he can get that message out to all of the kids that we're not talking about you, white kids. It is not your fault that your ancestors did this, or you may have had ancestors who did this. We're just trying to make a point that we will not want history to repeat itself. And you cannot use this. And you black people, you can't use this as a crutch. You can't say, oh, this happened to us and we deserve reparations. The only people that deserve reparations are people who are wrongfully convicted because of racism. People who lost their farms. 
people, older people who, who actually lost something. Just like the Native Americans, they got part of their land back. The Native Americans got part of their land back because of reparations and shit. So understand that if you've got a lineage and you've got a history, you can take that shit to court. Take it to court. If you knew that something was happening to you and you've got documentation and proof that these individuals did these things to you, you can get some reparations. Reparations is given to some blacks who are wrongfully convicted. I remember this one guy who got thrown in jail for over like 50 years, man. Stuck in jail. He still lived. He got reparations when he got out. But listen to me, man. There's a lot of color people in jail, wrongfully be in jail because of racism, strictly. And it's sad. Sometimes when they get out, they don't get their reparations at all. They don't get their reparations at all, dog. But to each his own. And I remember this one guy, he got out of jail. He didn't get no reparations for all that time he spent in jail. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, man. You go to jail because of some racist shit. You don't get not one million, not, not, not two million. Actually, they should be getting two million. They should be getting two million apiece. And, and you know how this, this, now they got shit where white folks getting out of jail. They get 50 million, okay? I'm like, damn, what the fuck is going on here? Something's wrong. White folks get uh, reparations for something that happened to them, and it wasn't even racist. And they get $10 million? The system is still fucked up. Got to fix that. They got to make it an ironclad. They got to put a law out there. Anyone come out of jail, no matter what state, they get this amount of money. But that's not the case. But CTR, CR, CRT should be taught in schools. And that's it. It's called freedom of choice, freedom of speech. And it's up to the parents to make the decision if they want their kid in school or not. You know how much peer pressure is in public schools? Especially for daughters. The daughters are the future, you know? But them bitches be getting, they be getting knocked up between 13 and 16. And sometimes you won't even know if they had an abortion. But I'm out of here, guys. I hope you learned something in this video. I'm, and you, you know what I'm going to say next, right? What am I going to say next? I'm not on the goddamn drugs. I'm not your average man. I'm not your Peter Pan. I'm dangerous, bitch. <laughs> Peace.